right, since I know this is probably the biggest uh, talk right now, Marvel next year has got another event, and I gotta agree with the Mount Vernon kid. Yeah, it's it feel, we're still reeling from fear itself, you know? I know this is coming out in April, and yes, this is an event, um, Avengers vs. X-Men, and this is going to be a 12-issue, that's right, a 12-issue event. Um, yeah, I know. This, um... Now, first off, I'm, I'm going to say right now, I'm not going to buy this. Now, let me explain why. I'm not going to buy this because, as I've stated several times in the past, I don't live anywhere... I don't live anywhere near where I can get comic books on a regular basis. So, that being said, I'm going to wait for tra if I hear if I hear good things about this um, event, I will pick this up and trade. And it will probably be a two book thing considering it's twelve issues. They'll probably do the first six issues, and then the then the next is six, um, and another book volume. So this will probably be a two book thing, or if not, they'll have all twelve of them in like a in like a nearly forty dollar one big trade. But yeah. I'll just if I if I hear good things about this event, I will pick it up and trade. But I will not be able to get it in twelve separate issues because, like I said, I will not be able to get this in comic book in regular single issue form. Now, let's uh, now allow me. Let's get into talking about it. Now, first off, um, I'm kind of interest. I'm kind of um, surprised that all they're having a lot of the all the big guns outside of Rick Remender. Uh, they're having Rick Remender. Out, I mean, outside of Rick Remender, they're having a Jason Aaron, Brian Michael Bendis, Ed Brubaker, Matt Fraction, and Jonathan Hickman, as well as artwork by Ramita, John Romita Jr., Andy Kubert, uh, and and uh, Capelli. I can't remember his first name. I am very sorry. But anyway, what this story is basically about is that the Phoenix Force is coming back to Earth, and it's looking for a new host. And I'm guessing, you know, the, this is what's going to cause the Avengers and X-Men to fight. Now, my thing, as I'm looking at this teaser right here, um, this vague Marvel teaser, as Duke and Manos would say, I hope they're not watching this and thinking, I, we want right, <laughs> we want copyright. <laughs> oh well. It, I'm friends with them, it's cool. Anyway, um, as I'm looking at this uh, picture right here, I noticed that it's the it's Cyclops' team, uh, Extinction, as it's called, fighting the Avengers. Um, we got um, we got Emma Frost, we got Scott, we got Colossus, we have Namor um, taking on the Avengers. Now, it's my guess is that Cyclops has finally crossed the line, um, with, and. I've always said that, you know, and this is something I've kind of predicted it was going to happen sometime in, in the X-Men, if not Marvel u Universe future. I've always said after, you know, even before Schism, that, uh, that Scott was going to do something so reckless and so inane. You know, this guy, uh, that I know he was going to do, I knew he was going to do something that the Avengers would have to be called in and, you know, put him in his place. You know, him and the rest, of, he's going to do something and I guarantee you that the mo he's probably going to want the Phoenix Force. My theory is that he's going to want the Phoenix Force, you know, um, he's going to want it to see if he could re uh, resurrect Gene again. And I could probably see that Steve and the rest of the Avengers are like, no, it's a dangerous force, we got to destroy it, or, you know, at least contain it. And that might... Now, again, this is just a theory I have. It could, it, it could be something else, because like I said, it's just a picture I'm going on, and, you know, what the story is generally about. Now, um, this is coming out in April 2012, so I'm. Uh, this is the only time I'm going to talk about it. If they reveal any news that's rev that's huge, if they only give out minor news, I won't do another video about it. But unless they do like this huge, uh, huge, mega, awesome news, I'll talk about it. Until then, this is the only time I'm going to be talking about it. But anyway, like um, like Mount Vernon Kid said, you know, where does this leave the rest of the other X Men? Yes, it's involving the uncanny. It's involving Scott's side, but where does this leave um, Beast, Wolverine, and the Aven and Storm? All three of them being Avengers as well. Now, as I can look at this picture, um, 
Beast and Wolverine look like they're going to be siding with the Avengers. That's my guess. But Storm is on Scott's side. Which wh Where will her, her loyalties lie? Um, will she join up with Scott and the rest of the X-Men? Or will she be fighting alongside her husband, T'Challa, and the rest of the Avengers? Um, I'm hoping, also, I'm really hoping that this does not revol uh, lead into the breakup between... The, uh, the end of the marriage between Black Panther and Storm. I'm really hoping they don't do that. Um, because that would be just a dumb way. It's like, oh, I'm siding with someone else and not with this team. Bye, we're breaking up. I, I think, personally, I think T'Challa would understand where her loyalties lie and have no ill will against her. But I have a sneaking feeling that Marvel would do something that stupid. But anyway, um, I, I do have some faith in this comic book, even though it's a 12-issue event. Um, I'm, I'm also guessing that there will be prequels, aftermaths, and miniseries tie-ins to this. So it's not, I'm really, but I'm also kind of, I've also heard rumors around that this might be a, tw just a straight-on 12-issue story, just kind of self-contained and not within the Avengers and X-Men books. It's ju just kind of like how Schism was, ignore, despite the, the three issues of generate of uh, Generation Hope that tied in with Schism, but that was like minor tie-ins with Schism. Um, but Schism was very much contained, so I'm hoping Avengers vs. X-Men will be a very self-contained event. Um, but I don't... Especially with 12 issues, that's a lot of tie-ins to cover between X-Men, um, the X-Men titles, and all the other series that go... all the other series that go with it. But, you know... The other thing is that um, where do, where are um, where's Logan's X Men going to stand? Where are Lo um, my bet is that they're going to stay out of it. If not, they might hook up with um, Steve and the rest of them to fight Scott because I get, there's still a lot of bad blood between that team. I mean, between Scott and Logan. So, and I'm looking at this picture. It looks like he's facing off against Emma. So, my bet is that. Um, Logan is gonna hook is gonna join with the Avengers. Same with Beast, because Beast had some problems, along with um, you know he had problems. He left because of Scott's stupidity. Well, I wouldn't say. Well, I take it back. Not stupidity, just the choices he made that led to Beast leaving the team. I'm not gonna call it stupidity. I'm gonna uh, the better term for it is you know poor uh, poor le um, you know some very under the table moves. There, there's the better word. But like I said before, this, um, I bet it's going to be something Scott does. It, Scott's going to do something, you know, that the, that's going to lead him against the, not just the Avengers, my bet is that he's going to go, uh, he, this might cause the rest of the Marvel Universe to bear down on Utopia. And that's just my, th again, this is just my theory, but, you know, the whole Phoenix Force thing might be a catalyst to Scott um, doing something that the rest of the X-Men are going to regret. And like I said before, this is something I've thought, I I kind of thought would be happening in the Marvel Universe future, especially in the X-Men side. Um, I've kind of thought about this uh, actually coming to fruition for a long time. In fact, I did a video about it a long, a while ago about um, um, Scott's actions leading into something bigger again on the Marvel Universe. And uh, the other thing, what, where's the Phoenix Force going to tie... Oh, excuse me. Uh, where's the rest of the Phoenix Force going to tie in in all this? That's another good question right there. Um, and who's it going to choose as its... Um, as its, ma you know, as its uh, host? Who's it going to choose? And another good question, would this mean the resurrection of Jean Grey? Again. All in all, I think what I'm trying to get across is that I'm going to remain neutral on this. And just, like I said, I'm going to wait for this to come out and trade and pick it up if I hear um, good things about this event. Because yeah, we got Aaron, we got Bendis, we got Fraction, we got, um, and, and we got Hickman and Brubaker. You know, a lot of Marvel's big guns, basically. Um, all in all, uh, I think I've pretty much said my piece about it. Um, so yeah, we'll just have to wait until April to see this, uh, to see what happens next. All right, later, guys.